The Somali pirates are some of the most daring and ruthless criminals in the world. They hijack ships, demand outrageous ransoms, and sometimes torture and kill their hostages. For decades, they have terrorized the sea off the Horn of Africa, one of the busiest shipping routes in the world. In this video, we uncover 10 of the most daring and notorious heists of the Somali pirates in the last decade. These seafaring bandits have pulled off some of the most audacious and lucrative robberies in history, and the last one on this list might just shock you. Number 10. The Serious Star on November 17, 2008, Somali pirates seized a Saudi Arabian supertanker, the Sirius Star. The supertanker was formerly owned and operated by Vila, a subsidiary of the Saudi Arabian state oil company, Saudi Aramco. The supertanker was carrying 2.2 million barrels of crude oil worth $100 million. The tanker was the largest ship ever hijacked by pirates. The ship was attacked approximately 450 nautical miles southeast of the Kenyan coast as she made her way to the United States via the Cape of Good Hope. The 25-member crew on board the ship were 19 Filipinos, 2 Britons, 2 Poles, 2 Croat, and 1 Saudi Arabian. The pirates demanded a ransom of $25 million with a 10-day deadline. But the negotiations dragged on for two months. On the 9th of January 2009, the pirates released the ship and its 26 crew members for a reported amount of $3 million, which was parachuted onto the deck. But their joy was short-lived, as five of the pirates drowned in a mysterious storm, which capsized their small boat as they left the supertanker. The body of one of the pirates would later wash up on the shore with $153,000 in a plastic bag. Quite a terrible ending. Number 9. The MV Fena. On September 25, 2008, the Somali pirates hijacked a Ukrainian freighter, the Fena, carrying 33 Soviet-era tanks and other weapons destined for Kenya. The crew on board the ship was 17 Ukrainians, 3 Russians, and 1 Latvian. Sadly, the ship's captain, Vladimir Kolobkov, died just three days after the ship was captured. He died from a hypertension-related stroke. The pirates demanded a whopping $35 million to release the ship and its 20 crew members. That's enough money to change my whole life. At some point, the pirates tried to unload the weapons on the ship, but the U.S. Navy warned them not to do so. However, the U.S. Navy allowed them to restock the ship with food and other supplies. After four months of negotiations, the pirates lowered their ransom to $3.2 million, and on the 5th of February 2009, the ransom was paid and the ship was freed. The pirates, upon receiving the money, took their time to count it before finally leaving the ship. Such an audacious robbery. Number 8. The Hansa Stavanger On April 4, 2009, Somali pirates hijacked the German container ship as she made her way to the Kenyan port of Mombasa. The ship was also accompanied by two German warships. One would have assumed the ship was in safe hands, but the pirates still managed to capture the ship, making it one of the most controversial hijackings the pirates have ever done. The pirates demanded $15 million for the release of the ship and its 24 crew members from Germany, Ukraine, Russia, and Tuvalu. The German government made two attempts to rescue the ship by using special forces, but both attempts were aborted due to the advice from the U.S. forces, telling them that such an attempt could risk the lives of the crews on board. The negotiation dragged on for three months, and some of the crew even became sick. The pirates would later accept a ransom of $2.7 million and freed the ship. It's still confusing how a ship, guided by two warships, was overpowered by a few pirates with a small boat. Number 7. The MV Marita Marguerite On May 11, 2010, the Somali pirates captured the German chemical tanker 120 miles south of Salala, Oman. On board the ship were 19 Indians, one Bangladesh, and one Ukrainian as they made their journey from India to Antwerp, Belgium. The pirates demanded $5.5 million for the release of the ship and its crew. The ship was held for eight months as the hostages endured horrific torture. They were beaten and starved for days. The crew even testified of being forced to drink urine. The Ukrainian engineer on board was at some point tied to a rope and repeatedly submerged till he lost consciousness. The pirates finally released the ship after receiving a ransom of $5.2 million. This was one of the most violent and inhumane heists by Somali pirates and one of the most traumatic experiences for the hostages. Number 6. MV Alacrana 
On the 2nd of October 2009, the pirates attacked the Spanish fishing vessel which was operating in the Indian Ocean. The pirates captured the ship and its 36 crew members, however that same day, the Spanish Navy captured two Somali pirates and put them on trial in Madrid with charges of kidnapping and armed assault. In retaliation, the Somali hijackers threatened to kill three of the Spanish crew members if the detained pirates were not released, and also demanded a ransom of $4 million. The Spanish government at first refused to pay the pirates, but after six weeks of negotiations and pressure from the families of the hostages, they reportedly paid $3.3 million for the release of the hostages. You won't believe what the Spanish government did next. The Spanish government, not being happy with dumping $3.3 million for the release of the hostages, sentenced the detained pirates to a whopping 439 years in prison for the hijack. The pirates never saw that one coming. If you are enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel would be a blessing. Number 5. The MV Samho Jewelry On January 15, 2011, Somali pirates hijacked a South Korean chemical tanker, the MV Samho Jewelry, carrying chemicals from UAE to Sri Lanka. The pirates demanded $9 million for the release of the ship and its 21 crew members from South Korea, Indonesia, and Myanmar. But this time around, it wasn't business as usual. The South Korean government dispatched a naval destroyer and commandos to track down the ship. After several days of surveillance, the commandos launched a surprise raid on the vessel. The team executed a risky but clever plan of mixing water into the ship's engine oil to disrupt its propulsion and slow it down. Once they got on board the ship, they started a battle that would last for five long hours, killing eight pirates and capturing five others. The hostages were freed unharmed. The South Korean president in his address stated, We will not tolerate any behavior that threatens the lives and safety of our people in the future. This was one of the most daring and successful rescues by a foreign navy, and one of the most humiliating defeats for the pirates. Number 4. The MV Iceberg 1 The MV Iceberg 1 was hijacked on March 29, 2010, about 10 nautical miles off the port of Aden, Yemen, outside the International Recommended Transit Corridor. It was carrying a mixed cargo of general mechanical equipment owned by a major multinational company. The ship was heavily insured and was bound for Jebel Ali in the United Arab Emirates. The pirates held the ship and its 24 crew members from Yemen, India, Ghana, Sudan, Pakistan, and the Philippines for nearly three years. The pirates subjected the hostages to physical and psychological abuse. They were continuously beaten and left to starve. One of the hostages committed suicide by jumping overboard. On December 10, 2012, the Punglin Maritime Police Force decided to wage war against the pirates. But it was not an easy fight. For 21 days, the police force could not reach the ship as it was surrounded by Somali pirates, the force had to resort to using a sniper on land and a helicopter and began bombarding the ship. Finally, on December 22, the police force was able to board the ship and rescue the 22 surviving crew members after almost three years in captivity. This was another long and cruel heist that the pirates failed. They never received any ransom money, and they lost their ship to a government force. Number 3. The Asian Glory on the 2nd of January 2010, the Asian Glory was hijacked by pirates 1,000 kilometers off the Horn of Africa. The pirates used a Pakistani vessel, FV Shazab, to hijack Asian Glory. The entire cargo of the ship was 2,300 Hyundai and Kia vehicles, which were being transported to Saudi Arabia from Singapore. The pirates seized the ship and its 25 crew members and demanded a ransom of $15 million. Some sources stated that the ship's owner, Zodiac Maritime Agencies, refused to pay. The pirates, having taken hold of the Asian glory, used it to capture two more ships off the Gulf of Aden, which also included a chemical tanker with a crew of 17 Indonesians, five Chinese, one Vietnamese, and one Nigerian. The Asian glory was held for almost three months, but was later released for an undisclosed ransom. Number 2. The MV Seaborne Spirit On November 5, 2005, Somali pirates this time around chose to attack a luxury cruise liner, the MV Seaborne Spirit, off the East African coast. The ship was carrying 210 passengers and crew from Egypt to Kenya. The pirates fired rocket-propelled grenades and machine guns at the ship, but failed to board the ship. Thanks to the evasive maneuvers of the captain and the use of a sonic weapon that emitted a loud noise to deter the attackers. The captain ordered all passengers to assemble in an interior lounge for safety, 
and the ship accelerated in what appeared to be an attempt to ram the assailants. The ship finally escaped with some broken windows and some minor damages from the rocket fired at it, and no injuries were reported. This experience forced the ship to cancel its Mombasa stop, and the 440-foot Spirit sailed for the Seychelles, where Kenya-bound passengers were put on a chartered flight to resume their itineraries. This was one of the first and most audacious attempts by Somali pirates to hijack a cruise ship, and one of the most ingenious escapes by a cruise captain. Number 1. The Maersk, Alabama Ever since the Somali pirates started operating, they had not attempted any attack on any ship sailing under the American flag. But on April 8, 2009, the MV Maersk, Alabama was hijacked off the coast of Somalia. The US-flagged cargo ship was attacked by four armed teenage pirates in a skiff. The crew fought back and managed to repel the boarders, but not before they captured the captain, Richard Phillips, and took him hostage in a lifeboat. But just a day before the attack, the Maersk, Alabama received warnings from the United States government to stay at least 600 miles off the coast of Somalia. But Captain Richard Phillips kept the ship about 240 miles from the coast, a decision which was later criticized by members of his crew. The crew managed to hide themselves in the ship's safe room as the pirates boarded the ship. Early the next morning, the destroyer USS Bainbridge and other US Navy vessels arrived on the scene. But the pirates were holding the ship's captain hostage in a lifeboat. This led to a standoff that lasted for five days as negotiations attempts were made. But every attempt to negotiate with the pirates failed. Finally, on April 12th, with authorization from President Barack Obama, Navy SEAL snipers opened fire on the lifeboat. In a stunning display of accuracy, the SEALs, firing from a ship's deck through the windows of the tiny boat, hit all three pirates on the head, killing them instantly, while leaving Captain Phillips unharmed. The surviving pirate, Abdawali Muse, was taken into custody and later sentenced to over 33 years in U.S. prison. To add more drama to the whole thing, the incident was later made into a movie, starring Tom Hanks as Captain Phillips. This was one of the most dramatic and widely publicized heists by Somali pirates and one of the most heroic acts by a U.S. captain and his crew. And that's it for this video. Which of these heists was more notorious to you? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.